found Cain in their wilderness of life, and it is not a common general presence. Turn with me to Yeshayahu 6. I'm going to show you one of the most keen examples of relational presence. We are not those who rely on common presence, but on a relational presence. Yeshayahu, chapter 6, and let's pick it up in verse 1. Yeshayahu chapter 6 and verse 1. In the year that Melech Yuziyahu died, I saw Yahweh sitting on a kise high and lifted up, and the hem of his robe filled the hekel. And above it stood seraphim, each one had six wings, with two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one cried to another, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. It's three of the manifestations of the faces of Yahweh that Isaiah saw and the Malachim were worship were seeing is Yahweh Sevaot. The whole earth is full of his common presence. Tiferet. And the posts of the door shook at the voice of him that cried, and the bayit was filled with smoke. Then I said, Yeshayahu said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I live in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Boy, that's our dilemma also. For my eyes have seen the Melech, Yahweh, Sabaoth. And then flew one of the seraphim to me, having a coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from the altar. He laid it on my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Now your iniquity is taken away from you, and your sin is purged. And I heard the voice. In other words, why, why did the coal from the altar touch his lips? Because Yahweh wanted to open up a, a, a what? A relational presence with Isaiah. And in order for Yahweh to open up a relational presence with Isaiah, he had to clean his tongue because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. He had to clean his heart, through cleaning his sins, but also clean his what? His mouth. Can I hear a good old man? In order so they can have that communication in a relational presence. Once he was in this relational presence by his sins being forgiven, his purged, and his mouth being made tahor, pure, verse 9 he said, now go and tell this people. I'm sorry, go verse, back to verse 8. I heard the voice of Yahweh saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Who's the us? Three persons? Eh. No. no. Th what? Who's us? The different faces of Yahweh. The different faces. The face of love, the face of compassion, the face of mercy. Known in the earth realm as fruits of the spirit. But these are all faces of Yahweh. We know them as fruits of the Ruach, but they're all really faces of Yahweh. Can I hear a good amen? amen. So I heard the voice of Yahweh saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for my, my presence? Who will represent my presence? Well, you can't represent his presence unless you go with his presence. Okay. That's the problem with a lot of people in the ministry. They try to represent his presence, but they don't spend time in his presence. Mm -hmm. You're all so quiet on me now. That's fine. Come on now. That must be you're under conviction. Teach. How are you going to tell people about a relational presence when you don't spend time in his presence? Uh oh. Many of my enemies and many of the people, the clowns, I mean the people on the internet, spend more time talking to each other on the telephone than they do talking to Yahweh. That's not relational. That's not, that's not a, a relational presence. Nope. That's a misfunction, a dysfunctional uh, attitude. Amen. Now, can I hear a good amen? amen? Go tell this people, you hear indeed, who will go for us? And then Yeshayahu said, He named me. I will go and represent you because your presence is with me. Your presence has cleansed my tongue and your presence has purged my sins. There's no Yeshua. It's Yahweh's presence that has purged this. There's no Yeshua here. Of course, Yahweh is Yeshua. But this is before Yeshua came to earth, isn't it? Is this not before Yeshua came to earth? And yet Isaiah was forgiven of his sins? Because the presence of Yahweh can purify an impure man. That's why. Because Yeshua had not yet come to earth. Can I hear a good amen? Amen. Well, I said, who will go for us? And I said, Hineni, Abba, Abba, Hineni, send me. 
And Yahweh said to Yeshayahu, Go and tell this people you are indeed you are you hear indeed, but you understand nothing. You see indeed, but you perceive nothing. For the levavot of these people are dark, and their eyes are heavy. Their eyes are closed; they cannot see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their levavot and make teshuva uh, repentance to be forgiven and healed. Yeshayahu had a relational presence, unlike the rest of Bnei Yisrael. Yahweh said, are you going to go to bring this relationship that I've established with you to Bnei Yisrael? Good luck! They hear, but they're not listening. They see, but they can't perceive. Their heart is hardened. You're, you're going to try to bring this personal relationship that I, that, that I have with you through the personal presence, and they will do to you what they have done to me, says Yahweh. And isn't that the best Torah, the gospel? We bring the good news of what Yeshua has done for us, how he's come to abide with us and establish a relational presence with us. And they reject us the same way they rejected him. And what did Yeshua say? Don't worry. When they reject you, they reject me. And when they reject me, they reject the one who sent me somebody. So the relational presence is there to, to not only to send you to an unbelieving, blind, and hypocritical, gainsaying people in the world, but but it's more it's more than that is for you to understand that when they reject you, you could always fall back on the relational presence that Yahweh has established with you, just like He established it with Yeshayahu. Come on, somebody. Baruch oh. Hashem Yahweh. So Yeshayahu had relational presence despite the rejection of B'nai Yisrael. In other words, you don't need men to have a relational presence with Yahweh. That's, right. That's the beautiful part about serving Yahweh. Amen. You don't need men, you don't need flesh and blood to have a relational presence with Yahweh. Amen. You can do it like Yeshayahu did, even when the people's hearts, ears, and, and eyes grow cold and grow hardened. Amen. And that's how I'm still serving Yahweh. When so many are opposed and, and, and don't understand me and mistrust me and misunderstand me. When I try to feed them, they mistrust me. When I try to help them, they mistrust me. It's, be, it's, it's because I have a relational presence with Yahweh that I can fall back on. That's why I'm still here. That's why I keep going. Because if I had to depend on the people to receive the relational presence of Yahweh, I would have quit a long time ago. You would have quit a long time ago. You would not be serving Yahweh today if it was the people that kept you in relationship with Yeshua. That's right. You would not be serving Yahweh today. That's true. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Thank you, sister. She's on commission. Yochanan 14, 16. Yochanan 14, 16. Yochanan 14, 16. 14, 16. Talking about relational presence. Yahshua says, I will ask the Abba and he will give you another comforter. Notice. And this has nothing to do with Sealy, Sleeper Sealy, or any bad comforters that you put on top of the bed. This is the real McCohen. Can I hear a good old man? <laughs> this is the real McCohen. I will ask Abba, he will give you another comforter he, that he may stay with you. Leolam Vai. When they reject you, he's with you. When they laugh at you, he's with you. When they cast you out, he's with you. Even the Ruach of Emet, the spirit of truth, whom the Olam Hazeh cannot receive. Now what can the Olam Hazeh receive? What kind of presence? The common presence. See, and they're satisfied with the common presence. They're happy with the common presence. They don't want to go any further. They don't want to press in to that relational presence. They're happy. The world cannot receive this type of presence, Marcel. They can receive the common presence, but they cannot receive this kind of personal presence. Can I hear a good amen? Amen. amen. Look, the Olama that cannot receive, you should have said what Yeshayahu received, what I'm about to give you, another comforter greater than me. Because I can't be with more than 12 or 100 of you at the same time. But when the other comforter comes, he's going to be with all my people in relational presence. He's greater than me, so I'm going to give you a greater comforter. And if you understood what my presence was all about and why I died for your sins, to bring you into ongoing, permanent, eternal, perpetual relationship with me, you would not be sorrow like the world is sorrowful, but you would rejoice because I go to the Father and the comforter is coming. Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Amen. Come on, come on. You would be glad if you understood. Amen. It is better to it is better to be in, one day in his courts and ten thousand.